Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about my guidelines surrounding the number of AliExpress vendors you want to aim for. When deciding on a niche, or even if you're at the stage of sourcing products from AliExpress, always consider the number of AliExpress vendors that you will need to source from to complete your entire Shopify store. So for example, let's say you want to sell women's fashion or clothing. Uh, and you want to aim for 20 products on your Shopify store that you want to sell and drop ship. Can, the question you want to ask is, can you get all 20 of those products from one single um, AliExpress vendor? Or will each product you find of those 20 be from a different vendor? Right? This is a question you want to ask yourself. And the reason you should ask yourself this question is because Generally, my recommendation is to always aim for less numbers of vendors on AliExpress than more. Less is always better than more in this situation. You may not always be able to fill out your entire Shopify store with one single vendor, but overall, you would want to aim for as small a number of vendors as possible, right? Less is always more. Why is this a recommendation I am giving you? The reason I'm recommending you to aim for less vendors is because, um, and this is kind of builds off my previous video where I talk about vendor guidelines. The, one, the reason you want less vendors is because sometimes, not always, it's possible that a vendor may close their store or they may have issues with shipping or they may discontinue an AliExpress listing for a product that you imported in your Shopify store. When this, is a, when this happens, or these things happen, it causes you a lot of issues, and it requires a lot of effort and time to fix these issues. If you have multiple vendors you work with, then there's a higher chance that you'll run into these random issues than if you work with less amount of vendors. There are certain implications with a small no uh, number of vendors as well. For example, if you, you know, going back to the example earlier, if you have a fashion store and you, ch and you have 20 products total on your store and all 20 of those products are from one vendor and that one vendor, you know, for some reason shuts down or delays shipping or discontinues a bunch of AliExpress listings for products that you've imported to your Shopify store, then yes, you're going to have a major catastrophe. Um, but overall, I would say that does not happen very often and the chances of some of those things happening are much higher when you have a higher number of vendors. Um, so, you know, risk versus benefit, I would always aim for lower amount of vendors. Um, I also say this because oftentimes, uh, if I find a one singular vendor that meets, uh, that has products that can fulfill the entire niche that I want to sell in, for example, if I sell women's clothing and I find one really, really, really good vendor that sells all sorts of types of fish, uh, women's fashion, I may just source all of my products from that one vendor and I might try to build a relationship with that one vendor. Um, let them know, hey, I'm selling lots of your products. I'm selling hundreds of your products. Uh, can you give me a discount? Can you give me uh, product photos? Can you give me any resources that might help me drop ship your products? Um, one time I did that and the vendor sent me a huge uh, zip file um, of all of the products on their uh, vendors store on their AliExpress vendor store and all these pictures had no logos there's no writing on them so these photos look really good on my website whereas the photos on the actual AliExpress listings had lo other logos on them or words and you know it looked very unprofessional so you never know what kind of benefit you may have if you reach out to your vendor um, you may go your entire dropshipping career without talking to any vendor but you know, chances are at some point in time you will talk to them. And of course, talking to one vendor is a lot easier than talking to 20 or 30 vendors. Um, what you don't want to do is have each one of your products be from a completely different vendor because you could end up with a store with 100 vendors and you can, you know, chances are you're going to run into some minor issues down the road here and there. And, you know, that's going to take a lot of your time and effort. And we want to avoid that as much as possible. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, shoot me a question or shoot me an email. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I'll see you guys on the next one.